Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in Jennings County, Indiana, and we're going to check out the last two remaining cover bridges in the county. Stay tuned and we'll tell you all about it. Okay, uh, my name is Bob Keller. I've lived across the bridge here since uh, January. 1941 when we moved out of the Proving Ground. And we're gonna talk about the bridge a little bit. Uh, we've, uh, when we were kids, we grew up in this bridge a lot. We clumbed around through here like a bunch of monkeys and uh, oh heck, we even played tag in that thing. Crawl, crawl across the cross members when the cars go under us. And, the drivers would look up there like as a, like we were nuts, and probably true, but uh, they uh, bring a, it's a bridge that I'd like to see stand for a long time. It's a uh, hundred and some years old now, built in 1887, but uh, they needs to be some kind of barriers on here to keep big vehicles off of it. Some people ignore it and drive through there with about anything or try, and uh, it just won't stand that, it's too old. It's actually a piece of history, and uh, it's only one of two in Jennings County, and I think uh, the other one had they built a bypass on it, a new bridge, and I'd like to see them do that here. They used to uh, hang dummies in here on Halloween, and so people would slow up when they saw it looked like somebody hanging in the middle of the bridge. But uh, of course, uh, people got used to it. They all throw toilet paper across it and all kinds of things like that. At one time, my dad saw some smoke coming out of it. And he walked up there and somebody had built a fire right about the middle of the bridge toward the east uh, east end. And it actually burned a hole through the flooring and the beams underneath were scorched a little bit when they uh, he got it put out. I think somebody just tried to burn it down. But uh, he was always good about going up there and picking up trash out of it so they wouldn't, somebody throw a cigarette out and, maybe catch out a fire and burn it down. But uh, it's been a part of my life for a long time. Uh, like I say, we, we've we uh, played in that bridge and the kids around here and climb in it like shouldn't had. When they worked on this bridge, it was closed uh, nearly all summer in 2013. Uh, some people out of uh, Ohio, can't remember their name, but uh, they came down here and they said this was a 45th covered bridge they had uh, redone. And uh, I came over here about every day and just talked to them and I was interested in the way the thing was built. It's, it's, they, they knew what they were doing. And I asked them how much out of square it was, and they said it was less than one half an inch. That's pretty good to be over 100 years old. I can't imagine the labor put into that or how they did it or anything, but the timbers were big and heavy, and uh, it all had to be done by hand. Uh, they, uh, they did a good job, I think, and Less than a month after it was open, some knucklehead ran into it with a great big tractor and a grain buggy and ran into the corner of it. And they said he probably had about 50 tons on it. and It has a five ton limit. And he said, I thought it said 15. And uh, the rascal being a coward, he was backed up and took off when it went run away. So uh, I told the sheriff, as I said, if you go over in that east of here and south a little bit, there's people over in there, and I'll bet you'll find paint on that vehicle. He went over, sure enough, and he admitted doing it. But uh, 
I'm kind of sad to say that that man's insurance fixed it, but I think he should have been fined or put in jail for being stupid. Since uh, 1941, uh, I know that it had wood shingles on it then, and they were replaced one time. Uh, sometime later, a metal roof was put on, but uh, I'm not certain, but I think probably about the same time that uh, the shingles were put on, they put a new floor in the bridge, too. My dad at that time worked for the county, and I know he helped uh, do that. The uh, creek has gotten up several times, uh, twice. It got uh, across the road between the bridge and the house across the bridge where we lived, but uh, it's never uh, got enough to move the bridge or anything. 37, they said it broke across the, at the upper end between the house and the barn over there and went across the road between that house and barn too, but that was before we moved down here. So. Yeah, at one time they say that there was some Hoffmans lived on this side of the bridge and James boys lived on the other side. Uh, not the real Jesse James, but one of them name was Jesse. At any rate, uh, Halloween, they took one of the family's buggies apart and put it back together up in the top part of the bridge. And they couldn't find it. And they said the boy, one of the boys or two of them was up in there one day just climbing around. The mothers met in the bridge and talked and talked and talked and they wondered where the buggy was and they were right under. So it's, they pretty well had it hidden plain sight. But, uh, things like that just happened back then. and. Uh, Everybody just liked to have fun. Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in Scipio, Indiana at the Scipio Cover Bridge, and I'm here with Janet Tempest, and she's going to tell us all about the history of the bridge. Hi, Janet. How are you doing today? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. So tell me, when was this bridge originally built? It was built in, May, well, it was started in May of 1886, and it was completed in 1887. And it was, of the, it is of the Howe Trust construction. The bridge itself was built by Smith Bridge Company out of Toledo, Ohio. The stone for the bridge was hauled by James Falwell, and Ewing Clark, yeah, Ewing Clark, and the abutments were built by Broly, Ripplinger, and Ditlinger. That's a tongue tire. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I heard it didn't cost a whole lot to build it. No, it was six hundred dollars. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. You couldn't buy a beam here for six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I understand it was in a flood back in the 1800s? Yes, in the 1897, ten year, when the bridge was 10 years old, there was a flood. And during the flood, some of the locals were afraid that the bridge would wash off the abutments. So someone had brought in a steam traction engine and parked it in the, in a, in the middle of the bridge, mm -hmm. hoping to help hold it on there. And they really didn't need it. It was fine. It so, stayed. Mm -hmm. Good deal. And then recently it's been restored, is that right? It was, some work was done on it in 1984. Okay. And since then technology caught up and we have GPS. And so a lot of semi-drivers were guided through the covered bridge when they shouldn't have been. So it was in pretty bad shape and closed for a while. So in 2015, uh, the county and the federal government with a grant had enough money that they hired Bradshaw Construction Specialties to refurbish the bridge. And it was completed in the fall of 2015. And about how much was that restoration project? It was $542,000, a little over that. To fix a $600 mm -hmm. bridge. And the bridge is 156 feet long, almost 156 feet long. And I guess as a kid, you probably played on this a little bit? No, actually, most people stayed away from it because it, it has a curve coming up and people can't see. That's why you blow your horn when you come through the bridge or blow it while you're in the bridge okay. to let people know you're around. Okay. So tell me, I understand there's a weight limit on this bridge now? 
Yes, it's only open to light traffic and it's a five ton weight limit. And it, the bridge is located on 575 West in Gen Nor Northern Jennings County. Okay. And it can be seen from Highway 7. But it's open to regular traffic as long as it's under five tons. Yes. Good deal. Well, thanks for your time. We well, appreciate you. that. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's it. All right. Oh. <laughs>